Okay guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use layers to draw in the Autodesk Sketchbook app, so pay attention. So the column on the right side of your screen is where you control your layers. So where the arrow is pointing is the first layer that you get when you open up a new page. Click on it to select that layer to draw on it. Whenever a layer is selected, it will be highlighted in blue as shown. So in this app, you can add as many layers as you want, which is amazing. So what you do is you just click on the plus sign here to add layers. So below the first layer, you can see a circle underneath. You click on it and you'll be able to adjust the color of the first layer. So I think most people will usually go for a lighter shade for the base color and I usually just choose white. Now let's just draw a random line on the first layer. And when you click on the layer, this screen comes up. As you can see, it allows a few functions such as copy, paste, cut, duplicate, clear and even change the opacity on the layer. So when you click copy, it copies the whole layer. When you add a blank layer, click on it and click paste. And you'll be pasting the copied layer onto the new layer. After that, this page will come up to allow you to modify the new layer. If you're using a touch screen like mine, you can use your two fingers to modify its dimensions. Or if not, you can click on the buttons above to manually change the dimensions of that layer. And once you're finished, just hit done. If you want to make copies of the same layer, you can also click on that layer and then click on duplicate and it will immediately replicate the same layer. Now I'm going to draw a different shape on each layer. Notice there's an eye symbol on the top left corner on each layer. That's the visibility function. I'll show you how to use it in a second. So you click on the eye if you don't want to see that layer on your drawing. The layer is still there, it hasn't disappeared. It's just that it's hidden from view. So this allows you to compare and see what your drawing would look like if certain parts of it are missing. So if you try to draw on a hidden layer, it doesn't allow you to and this message will show up. So you can either hit on unhide layer or close to go to a different layer. Now that this layer is unhidden, I can now draw on it. So to unhide any layer, just click on the eye symbol again to unhide it. Now I feel like erasing part of the scribbly line I've done in the third layer. Notice when I was erasing the scribbly line, it doesn't affect the star shape that was quite close to it. Now I feel like getting rid of the two circles I've done in the second panel. See that it got rid of the two circles without even touching the scribbly line that was underneath? So you click on Merge if you want to combine that layer with the layer at the bottom of it. Now 
Now you've merged all three layers into one common layer. Notice when you're erasing something, it's very easy for you to touch and erase something that's close by. So I hope you can see the importance of using different layers when you're doing a drawing. Now I'm going to do a quick sketch of a mushroom to show you how to utilize the layers in doing outlines, coloring and shading. Remember to always drag down the coloring layer so that the outline layer is always on top of it. The reason in doing that is so that the colors we put in don't overlap and cover up the outlines. Notice when I'm doing finishing touches to the colors, I don't accidentally erase the outlines. That's why it's crucial to always use different layers for outlines and coloring. This is what it'll look like if the outline layer is below the coloring layer. Now this looks so much better, right? Now I'm going to create a shading layer on top of the coloring layer. For shading, my favorite tool to use is the airbrush.
see that I'm only erasing the coloring part without affecting the outlines or the shading. Now that I've combined all three layers into one, when I erase the bottom part, it erases everything. The color, outline, and shading. I forgot to show you one other function which is to adjust the opacity of the layers. 